Now, what are the types of flaps? Uh, flaps uh, are, come in many different shapes and forms. They range uh, from a simply, you can say, a skin or a mucosa to uh, composites of many different types of tissues. Uh, for example, muscle fat and uh, fascia. Now, <clears throat> we can classify the flaps based on type of blood supply. Number second is type of tissue to be transferred, location of donor site, and shape of flap. As we know that the survival of a graph depends upon an adequate blood supply. And a flap can maintain its blood supply in two main ways. If the blood supply is not derived from a recognized artery, then this is a random pattern flap. Many local flaps fall in this category. If the blood supply comes from a recognized artery or a group of artery, it is referred to as an axial flap. Most of the flaps, uh, for example, muscle flaps, uh, palatal advancement or rotational flaps, they are axial pattern flap because they contain a recognized vessel or a branch of a vessel. Tissue to be transferred. Which type of tissue uh, is transferred in a flap? Uh, that may be one type of, of, a, of a flap, for example, skin, mucosa, fascia, muscle, or a composed of different types of tissues. It is a composite flaps. For example, a facio-cutaneous radial forearm flap, myocutaneous pectoralis major flap, and osseocutaneous, that is a fibula flap. Location of donor site, local flap. The tissue may be transferred from an area adjacent to the defect. This is known as a local flap. It may be pedicle, advanced, or rotational uh, flap. For example, uh, this palatal uh, rotational flap that is based on a greater palatine vessels used for the oroandral fistula uh, reconstruction or repair, uh, that is a local flap. Distant flap, when the tissue is transferred from a distant site, then this will be called as a distant flap. Distant flap may be pedicle flap, it is transferred from the distant site, but still attached to its original uh, blood supply. And second is a free flaps. Free flaps, they are physically detached from their native blood supply and then reattached to the vessels through microvascular anastomosis at the recipient site. If we are doing reconstruction of the tongue and radial forearm flaps, we will detach it and radial foam forearm flap ko detach karenge wahan se aur tongue ki reconstruction ke liye usko use karenge to jab hum detach karenge to usme hamare paas artery bhi hogi vein bhi hogi nuclei vessels hogi aur hum tongue ko for example squamous cell carcinoma hai usme hum usme ko humne remove kar liya hai fir hum usko reconstruction kar rahe hain to wahan pe hum usko kya karenge lingual artery aur vein ke sath isko anastomose kar denge micro vascular anastomosis jise kehte hain ya hum superior thyroid vessels ke sath bhi isko kar sakte hain theek hai so this will be known as a free flap ye iski apni vessel vessels hain usko humne anastomosis kar di to iski apni blood supply aa gayi now humne jo classification mein fourth point likha tha wo tha shape of flaps to mucoperiosteal flap jo oral surgery mein hum use karte hain wo basically kis liye use hote hain surgical access ke liye use ho rahe hain jo abhi hum discuss karne wale hain तो उनकी जो क्लासिफिकेशन है दैट इज बेस्ड ऑन द शेप ठीक है तो बेसिक फ्लैप की जो टाइप्स हैं वो नंबर 1 है क्या है एनवेलप फ्लैप है थ्री कॉर्नर फ्लैप है फोर कॉर्नर फ्लैप है ठीक है सेमी लूनर फ्लैप है पेडिकल फ्लैप है फ्लैप्स क्रिएटेड बाय वाई एंड डबल वाई इंसिजेंस है 